The political tension in Niger took a turn for the worse on Wednesday when the Department of State Services, DSS, confirmed rumors that a section of the political class is planning to thwart Niger's democracy and install an interim government. Giving more details on Wednesday, spokesman for the DSS, Peter Alfonaya, said the service has identified some of the key plotters. While the DSS spokesperson did not reveal the names, he vowed that the service will use all arsenals at its disposal to frustrate such plot. The, the development has elicited mixed reactions from the Nigerian public who have condemned any plan to disrupt the nation's democracy, which has gone uninterrupted for the past 24 years. Uh, for more analysis, political affairs analyst Dayo Akintobi joins me now. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, the plot of an insurrection which has been confirmed by the DSS is quite serious. How much of a threat is this to Nigeria's political space? Well, for the DSS to have uh, come out publicly and proclaim that it has confirmed that there is an active plot um, to subvert uh, the democratic will of the people and not inaugurate the president elect come May 29 and in its place um, install an interim government using the instrumentalities uh, of the courts. Uh, the DSS went so far as to say um, the alleged plot uh, planners plan to fish around for what they call quote unquote a frivolous uh, court judgment. Um, to basically stymie the inauguration and uh, uh, use that uh, to install an interim government. I think for the DSS to uh, come out and said it, it's a clear and present danger. It's a real threat. Um, the issue at hand is whether they should have actually said something publicly about it or just gone ahead and arrested the perpetrators. In as much as they have said they know who they are, they have evidence of the fact that the plot is real. Um, many political watchers believe the DSS being an intelligence agency, Department of uh, State Security is a secret service that is in charge of state security. In other words, it's an intelligence agency. And as such, a lot of what it does is not known to the public. The very sanctity of its operations is based on covertness, is based on secrecy. So to have actually come out and announced this to the public, we're not quite sure what the agency's motives are. But if you actually read uh, in detail, carefully, painstakingly, what was said in his press release, one wonders why they have not just gone ahead. Number one, they didn't name the so-called uh, conspirators, they didn't name them. Number two, they said uh, they would do everything in their power, but they've not done everything in their power because they should have just gone ahead, arrested these people, charged them to court, and uh, uh, brought them to book. So uh, your question about whether it's heating up the policy, clearly it's a warning to the public that has scared everybody because we've had 24 uninterrupted years of democracy. Nobody wants an interim government which is not known to the Constitution. It's an illegal contraption. The fact that the military did it in his day doesn't mean we can do it in, in a democracy uh, and it's illegal, it will be illegal. So it's not known to the constitution, uh, it's alien to us, we don't want it, it shouldn't happen. So of course people are concerned after having heard what the DSS had to say. Well indeed, um, a legacy many Nigerians celebrate is that uh, democracy has gone uninterrupted for the past 24 years. Now what must be done to ensure that the nation's democracy remains sacrosanct regardless of political tensions and scheming? Well one of the first steps of course is to have uh, a seamless election. Uh, the electoral process should not be fraught with irregularities to the point where a, a cross-section of of the public is dissatisfied. It is the fact that there are so many aggrieved uh, voters with the declared results that's enabling even any kind of, of groundswell of, or even thoughts of an interim government or a court challenge or anything to truncate the process that's going to lead to the inauguration of the president-elect, the governors-elect, 
uh, the assembly members, the reps, because a proportion of the populace is viewing the election as having been flawed to the point that any inauguration of any candidate uh, is, is illegitimate. Any candidate that comes out of that flawed electoral process, some people view as being illegitimate. That is what is enabling some other people to take advantage of and now say, let's find alternative solutions. We don't want any elected person that's coming in on a faulty foundation to be inaugurated into office. So the first step to sustaining our 24 year unbroken record of democracy is to have seamless elections, to have elections that are as near perfect as possible to where there will be very few complaints and nobody will view the declared results as illegitimate that will give anybody grounds to be seeking alternatives like interim government. If we've done it for 24 years without any blemish, I think we can expect it to carry on from here uh, till uh, eternity without being interrupted as long as we continue to improve on our electoral processes. And in the cases where there are disputes, let it be seen that justice is done. Let us not have a candidate who came forth in an election being declared the winner, as we have seen in the past. Well, These indeed, um, Daya Kintobi, thank you very much for your time and your contribution. Well, we seem to have lost you there, but still thank you.